Lodge finds out what the fuss is all about. She's the greatest Mexican export since tequila. Only she's twice as intoxicating. I play the queen of the vampires. <laughs> Who would have thought a nice Catholic girl from south of the border would find fame in America as a snake-dancing sex goddess? Salma Hayek may finally be getting the attention she deserves in Hollywood, but the stunning beauty has been seducing the camera for years on Spanish television. Salma was a huge soap opera star in Mexico on the top-rated show called Teresa. But in 1991, her ambition got the best of her. With literally a suitcase in each hand, Salma headed to Hollywood, leaving her conservative family and celebrity status behind. She barely knew some English. And then she came to the United States, and it was, who are you? And she started all over again, knocking at every door. When Tejano superstar Selena died and her life story was to be made into a movie, Hollywood pegged Salma Hayek to play the slain singer. But Salma wanted fame on her own terms, not as a stereotype. I know, I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. All it took was a passionate kiss with Antonio Banderas in Desperado and Salma Hayek was sizzling. She's got good lips, good hands too, big ones, you know. She also made Billy Baldwin swoon in Fair Game, but it was her serpentine sashaying in the movie From Dusk Till Dawn that has made Salma a star. Salma the snake charmer slid around our questions about her personal life, but for the record, she's single, and no, that's not her baby. So just one last question on behalf of 100 million red-blooded American men. Free for a margarita tonight? Oh, no. I'm not gonna tell you about that. Salma's snake dance also caught the eye of friend star Matthew Perry. No, Matthew didn't dump Julia Roberts for 